I start? Okay, um, good day, I'm George Now. I'm going to do a talk on constraints in Postgres. This is more an uh, introduction level talk to t tell about the concepts and um, why constraints is important for your database. Um, I'm, f I'm from one of the sponsor companies, Quant Solutions, here today. Um, you can see all our branding there at the bottom. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm going to start this um, with a, 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 a dad joke that was um, popular in the office a while back. What's the difference between a bird and a fly? Um, a bird can fly, but a fly can't bird. <laughs> and that um, tr translates re really good to Afrikaans as well, so if you take a moment and think about that. Okay. Everything, everything in life has constraints. Um, if you take programming, you've got a few keywords to, to write um, any, a program that, that can do basically anything. Um, time is very constrained. You only have an X amount of time um, which you have to use wisely. And um, budget is also very constrained. And the petrol price isn't helping that either. Um, so you can see people have got a lot of constraints in, in, in their everyday lives. Um, constraints are everywhere, um, and we can do great things with constraints. We only have to know what they are. And in DBs, we can write, implement our own constraints. So what can constraints do for you? The first thing is... is it, um, it defends your database's integ integrity um, to make sure the data is correct. Um, a wise man once said, data must protect itself. And with constraints, you can, you can block any code that, is, um, that, 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 that doesn't um, adhere to your um, requirements. It is, easy to, um, it is easier to add a lot of constraints at the start of a project than to add it afterwards. Um, so, uh, yeah, I would really recommend before you just... Um, so to really think through your constraints. The first type of constraints I, I would think I like to think about is the, the, the data types you use. Um, in Postgres, we have more than 40 types of da data, um, data types that you can use to use the, for, for the correct um, circumstances. Um, and then there's a long list of all the constraints, uh, all the um, data types that's available in, in Postgres 10. Um, Okay, here's a, here are the, the few constraints we're going to talk about. The primary key, the foreign key, um, the not null, unique, checksum, and exclusion constraints. Um, you must let me know if I'm going too fast. Um, and then uh, we, we, we're going to have a few bonus um, things to discuss at the end. Okay, um, manipulating constraints. You can add constraints... Um, um, in, in your create statement of the table. Um, that is, um, I think, the preferred way to do it. And um, yeah, then, um, or after, um, afterwards, you can use it with alt the table command. You can add constraints to the table if you see they become, um, that there's a need for more constraints. You can remove constraints um, with, the, with the drop constraint command. And you can. Um, you can, yeah, that's the command for the, for the drop not null constraint. And then, um, uh, the, yeah, um, you, you couldn't um, rename constraints, but since um, 9.2, you can rename constraints. So that's something I also learned that I didn't know when I prepared for the talk. Um, the primary key constraint, um, the, um, the, this uniquely identifies each record in your um, in your database. Um, each um, each table has got one um, can only have one primary key constraint, and it, um, it but, 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 but you can have a composite um, um, primary key where you, where you have two um, columns that you that take into requirement for the primary key. Okay. And then um, yeah, in the next one, we are going to create a, a, a table. Um, 
and it's, uh, it's a simple table um, products for the Postgres conf. Um, and it's, we create the ID, uh, a name for the product, and the price. And um, you will see when you, it, 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 um, when you initialize the, um, the, 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 the primary key constraint there, um, you will see it, it, automatically, uh, it, it it's autom automatically adds a not null um, for, for the constraint because, um, yeah, and, and the primary key also creates an index view on that primary key. Um, sorry, that's just the, um, the scribe command I ran there for, for the table. And then if we insert into, um, into the table, we can see we, the, it's two successful rows inserted, t-shirts and stickers. Okay, um, then next we're going to, um, th th this is the command you can run for if you want to, run, to add a composite primary key. Um, where you take the ID at the time into consideration. And then there's the, the scribe, um, the, we, you can see at the bottom they added a, um, the, the, the index on both the ID and the name. Next is the not null constraint. Um, the, um, the, with a not null constraint, you can explicitly um, say that you do not want to accept any nulls into the um, into the value, um, so that it, it must have a, a valid value. And then next, we're gonna um, um, add a add a null, null, not null constraint to the price column, and then there you can see the describe command, and it added the not null on the um, price column, and um, yeah, yeah, and the next one, if you, if you see we want to insert another value into the column, it says it's violating the not null constraint. Okay, the next constraint we're gonna talk about is check, the, the check constraint. With the check constraint, you can set conditions for, um, for your, um, for, 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 for your um, row to the, for, for the cell to, um, to, to adhere to. Um, next, um, then we're gonna add a, add a check constraint for a positive price to ensure that the, you don't, um, that the, all, all your prices are positive. And again, the the, the, the describe where you can see there at the bottom, it, it, it added the, the positive check to the price. And then next we have the unique constraints. Um, let me just go back. Yeah, a, a unique constraint um, is, is, um, is applied to, 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 to a row and ensures that every value add into that row is unique for that row. So then um, we're going to add the, the constraint here with the um, alter table command. And um, we want to make a unique row for the name, um, for, for, for the name field. OK, there's the describe command again. And as you can see um, by now, um, you can apply multiple constraints of, um, on, on each row. Um, it, it can build up to, a, to, 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 to a bigger picture to, to, to have a more complete set of your data. So you can have, um, you can have more than one um, constraint on the price column. You can have a, if you've got a discount column, you can have, add a constraint that ensures that your discount isn't more than the price you charge for the product um, to ensure that you don't um, pay somebody to take your product. Okay. And then here's a test case. Um, if we insert um, that into the database, what do you think will happen? Um, because, um, sorry, yeah. Okay, so, um, but basically what will happen is um, because a null, 
null value is, is, is unique in itself, um, that, that won't be if, uh, 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 it will add both values into the DB because a null isn't equal to another null value. So that's also something to keep into consideration if you, um, when you do your constraints, you have to do, do them complete so that it, it covers all the corner cases. Okay, next we're going to talk about the foreign key constraints. Um, that's when you, um, I've got a, 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 a um, like a parent and a child table where the, 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 the tables reference each other. We've got like an invoice um, table and then the invoice table has got invoice lines. And then for the, um, for, 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 for the, the, to add the constraint, you can use it um, in, in the, in the altered, um, yeah, if, if you add the constraint, you add it, um, with, you can add it here with the, 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 the add constraint. Or if you add it in the table, or um, in your table definition, you can also add a, um, a, a the, 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 the reference, uh, the, the reference um, constraint can also be, uh, oh, the, the foreign key constraint can also be a composite key. So you can add a, um, if you've got a, a, a composite primary key, you also have to have the, a composite foreign key to check for the, um, you know, for, Okay, um, next we've got the exclusion constraints. Um, with exclusion constraints, you can um, exclude ranges of data. If you've got, um, um, let me see if, if in the example, um, if, you've, if you create a table with a, a period, a period um, field um, of, of, of the period type, you can add a, you can add a, a, a just index. Um, you know, uh, with the exclude constraint, you have to add a just index to be able to use the, um, the, 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 the you know, for, for, for the exclusion constraint to work correctly. Um, and then we, you can see if you insert the, the, um, the, 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 that date range into the table, it will, it, it works fine. But when you um, try to insert an overlapping date range, it blocks the, um, the insertion into the DB because it, it overlaps with another. It, it can be, that can be for a, a, a reservation at the resort or something where you block the person from booking um, a time slot that's already been booked for another um, customer. Okay. Um, then we can also um, add um, constraints to JSON B fields, where you can, um, um, like Kobus also said in the, in the beginning, you can um, add, a, add um, constraints to any expression that is immu immu immutable, and then for the, for, 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 you can have an instance. Um, where you can create a table that, 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 that's only got JSON B fields, where you can use the constraints to, 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 to um, ensure that all the, all the rows are there that you need to be there, and that they, um, that, 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 that can, they can have a, a, a set type, and that, 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 that um, record must always be inserted into the row for the insertion to succeed. Like you can say, um, you can add a field there with a UUID, and then you can cast it to, to a UUID because the because JSONV is only a string um, um, value that's stored in the JSONV field. So you cast it to the um, correct type that you want to um, constrain, and then with that you can ensure that you um, that um, J um, record always returns a UUID. Okay, and then you can, um, with the, um, you can, the, 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 then with, when you add a constraint, you can also check that the, 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 that field is always present in the database to ensure that the, 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 the field you want is, 
exists when you enter the row. Okay, and then lastly, I'm, I want to talk about um, um, constraint triggers. This is another way you can, um, for, 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 for some coding cases where you have to do more complex um, constraints, you can constrain the, um, you can, you can write a, a custom, pi, uh, um, a custom um, DB function that you can call, um, which you, in, in which you can use P, 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 PLSQL or um, PLSQL um, for, for, the, 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 for Python or any of the other extensions that you, you use. And then each time this, um, this constraint, um, the, 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 when you insert something into the DB, it, it, it fires the constraint trigger as well and it, um, it, it performs the, the, the functions you have in that. Um, Okay, um, so that's my last slide for the um, constraints. Um, do you have any questions or? Yes. Uh, sorry. Okay, just if you could just re-explain this uh, okay. exclusion constraint, it would be helpful. Okay, um, for, for, for the exclusion constraints, uh, um, you can see that we created the table with only the a period um, column. And then um, if you add the, um, you know, the, 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 the syntax for adding the, the exclusion constraint is um, the alter table, um, what ex uh, add, ex add excluding, Exclude alter table add exclude using um, the just um, sorry <laughs> yeah okay um, so but basically what happens is um, yeah we, we, we we've got the period um, the 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 the, 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 the um, column. And then on the, um, if, if you add the, 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 the exclusions from sign, they, it has to have a just index for it to be able to um, do the comparison between the different, um, b b b between the ranges you insert into the, um, yeah. And then, So yeah, um, when you insert the neg uh, insert the first row, it um, it it accepts the the the, the, the correct range, and the um, when you insert the uh, insert the the the, the, the next <laughs> row, um, um, where the, the the range is um, yeah, it's it's in the, the it's in the the, the, the the it falls in in between the range, as as you can see the other ranges overlap. So then it says it can't insert that range into it. Sorry, <laughs> my my words are beginning to get. <laughs> oh. Now, any more questions? Okay, so slightly off topic, maybe, but uh, can I'm you just going to quickly get a glass of water. I think you can listen so long. Um, <laughs> I'll talk. Can you explain what the difference is That's between? Can you explain what the difference is between a constraint trigger and a normal trigger? And, and is there a difference? <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's just go back to that slide. Sorry. Um, Yes, the, 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 there is a difference between a constraint trigger and a trigger. Um, it has to do with when it um, triggers um, on the insert, it, it, when you insert into the um, into the, um, the, the the table. So, with a constraint trigger, you can set it um, to, to to trigger before the insert happens into the DB. So, um, you can have um, 
you can have a, a, a in, in the, 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 the Python function you, you execute then, you can have a, um, other checks to have, um, where you can check in the, 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 the rows before they are inserted, and you can um, basically um, add, a, add a custom default value or something like that into the column, and then you can insert that into the, into the table before it fails. Um, if, if, if my understanding was correct about that. Yeah. yeah, but can't you do that with just a normal before insert trigger as well? With, without using, I'm referring to the yeah, constraint yeah. keyword. What, is, what does that change? Slightly off uh, topic. <laughs> no, um, no that, that, that's a good question. I, I added this one here at, at the end because, um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, um, Exactly sure how everything works on the the, the constraint trigger. Um, I can um, quickly sh go here. Where's the? I added open. Then we can be on the source side for that because I also went through it again a few times before. And so you you can see the. Um, Okay, no, 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 that's not showing there. Um, that's the, um, the, the, the definition for the constraint trigger directly off of the Postgres' um, site. And it, um, it says the constraint trigger um, creates a constraint. This is the same as regular triggers, except that the timing of the trigger Firing can be set um, using the set constraints. Constraint triggers must be triggered after row triggers. They can be fired either at the end of um, the statement causing the trigger event or at the end of the um, contracting transaction. In the latter case, they are said to be deferred. Um, a pending deferred trigger fire, firing can also be forced to happen immediately after using set constraints. Sorry. Um, any more questions? Okay. Oh, that, that, that would be nice. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I've recently been playing with constraints and getting myself tangled. And one of the things that I've battled with is naming convention. Like, do you have a preferred naming convention? Because if three people touch a database, you've got three different naming conventions for um, constraints. Yes, that's... Uh, okay, four different naming conventions <laughs> for three people, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say, um, let me just go here back to the slides. Um, for, for the naming convention, it's, uh, I would say it's a, it would be a good habit to um, to say um, what the, the let's see, uh, let me just get an example. Um, where's the okay? Um, for, for, for first of all, naming conventions, um, I can say you can. On, on the not null constraint, um, as an example, um, that's usually the one that doesn't have a, 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 a name f associated with it because it's, it's only a column level um, constraint. But you can have a, um, you, you can Im implement the not null constraint with a exclusion constraint, um, where, um, where you can add a name for it in, in, in that sense. For I I if you've got a, a, a high preference for naming your, all your constraints. Um, then, let me just see. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say if you look there, um, a, a constraint, um, you have to give an idea about what the constraint is, um, is, is implementing and about which column, on, on which column the, 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 the constraint is placed. Um, like, um, the, the it says that it, um, for, 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 
for the price column you've got, you want to have it be, be, be positive and it's on the price um, field. Um, yeah, um, more than that, I don't know if you've got any examples of, um, of um, constraints you would like or... Um, well, for example, foreign key constraint. Some people will go FK underscore and then something. Something you know. Sometimes it'll be yeah. column, um, the column, the table and the column here, the table and the column there. Um, and and and, uh, and uh, the other day I discovered that actually there's a maximum length for a name, so you know, kind of, mm. that's a problem. And these things have to be globally unique in your entire um, database, not just in your schema. So uh, all of those things are a constraint. Yeah. <laughs> they are very constraining. <laughs> um, um, I, I can't. Uh, um, I'm not sure what what would be the best convention, but I can say what I would prefer. There is, um, for, 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 especially for a foreign key, um, because um, I, I, I've, I've seen online that, 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 that a good um, for one of the ways I like this. If you say it's a foreign key, and you have to, uh, uh, if you can say which table it references. Um, because then you've got already a good idea of where the foreign key is. If you only look at your, if your, at your table definition, you can see where that foreign key is referencing. Because a lot of times you've got foreign keys, but it's, um, you can't, if you go down the rabbit hole, um, you can get a bit lost. Yeah, so... Um, the, 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 for, as, far, for, as far as foreign gears, that would be something I would recommend. Um, Hi, uh, I'm not uh, familiar with GIST. Could you elaborate on that, please? Um, yes, let me... Um, uh, I know Malcolm is also having a talk about indexes that we will go into more um, explicit um, detail on the indexes, but um, it's, yeah. Um, yeah. A, a just index is, um, Um, yeah, um, honestly, I'm not really sure what this, um, yeah, my, my mind is cutting a blank, sorry. Um, if there's no more questions, um, thank you so much. Um, yeah, sorry, um.